Welcome to Bookmark, where you can submit or listen to reviews of favourite books. I'm reviewing Lady in Waiting by Lady Anne Glen Connor. If you are a royalist or are simply fascinated by the pomp and ceremony of the upper classes in the first half of the 20th century, then this book is for you. From her birth, when disappointingly she failed to be a boy, Anne grew up in a world of stately homes, royal palaces, boarding schools and finishing schools, eventually coming out as a debutante and marrying the extremely eccentric yet charismatic Colin Tennant. She was totally used to moving in royal circles and was an attendant at the Queen's coronation in 1953. After marrying Colin, who was Lord Glen Connor, on numerous occasions Anne was forced to endure his extreme and often unacceptable behaviour. However, over the years, she grew used to his frequent tantrums and maintained her place at his side for over 50 years of marriage, during which he bought and developed the well-known island of Mustique, notorious as a playground for the rich and famous, and in particular as a holiday haven for Princess Margaret, the Queen's sister. Anne and Colin had five children, three boys and twin girls. Sadly, two of their sons died very young, and the third had a dreadful accident, although he finally recovered and went on to live a normal life. The book focuses heavily on Anne's strong friendship with Princess Margaret. In particular, Anne was lady-in-waiting to the princess for many years and in interviews Anne has stated that she wanted very much to throw a more favourable light on the princess who so often had such a bad press. Over the years, Colin had many affairs and although Anne turned a blind eye to them, the final insult came on his death when he chose to leave his estate to a manservant rather than to his family. But in her normal, stiff upper lip fashion, despite contesting the will, Anne has moved on and tried not to dwell on why he dealt such a cruel blow. Still active and living life to the full today, in her 80s, Anne's story is a fascinating insight into how the other half used to live. I'd give it 9 out of 10. If you'd like to submit a book review, you can either send a recording lasting up to 5 minutes or send a written review and we'll record it on your behalf. Please include your name, the book's title, the author and the genre and tell us how and why it gripped you or maybe it disappointed you. Tell us if you'd recommend it and try and give it marks out of 10. Thank you. All submissions should be sent to bookmark at shaftesburyartscentre.org.uk. This has been a Shaftesbury Arts Centre audio production.